Hello, NaNoWriMo writers. Today and tomorrow is all that's left of the challenge. Yes, okay, I'm right. <laughs> Sorry, I had to double check. But I hope all of you are doing well in your challenge. I hope that you've kept faith with your writing goals, whether it's the 1667, whether you've gone above or beyond, or whether you're just trying to write every day. I hope that you're accomplishing it, and I hope that these past videos have been very helpful to you. Today's topic is one of endings. It's about the term narrative payoff, and I want to describe what that means. And as you guys are reaching the end of your stories, you're probably dealing with this concept. But first, let's describe what the, a narrative payoff is. To describe this term, it's important to describe how plot events take place. At the beginning of your story, you're essentially making promises, as Brandon Sanderson puts it, or essentially challenges that you are hinting will be solved by the end of your story. Whether it's the big villain at the end, whether it is a internal conflict that the character has. They will often spend a lot of time tangoing and trying to solve this problem. Sometimes they fail. Sometimes they have little small successes. These are all essentially priming the reader for a large payoff, which will be the solution or the ultimate uh, ending conflict of this problem that it that the character is trying to solve. So if we take a villain, for example, perhaps throughout the entire story, the villain will constantly be one upping the main characters, always having being one step ahead of them, having one backup plan they didn't expect. And as the villain wins, the main character is learning. The main character is adapting and already the readers are now in their heads looking forward to the moment in which the main character will overwhelm the villain by one upping them themselves. This is what we call narrative payoff. It's essentially priming readers for a big conflict that will narratively pay off for enduring the initial losses or the initial conflicts leading up to this final ultimatum. This is a tactic that you can use to keep your readers turning pages. The readers want to see that ultimate conflict, but you can't just give it to them right away. You have to tease them first. You have to leave essentially a cookie crumb trail that leads to the cookie that you've been teasing them with since the beginning of the story. Whether it's an apprentice who hasn't mastered magic and then at the end of the story masters magic after they overcome an inner conflict. It can be the overwhelming of a master strategist villain who finally gets outsmarted by one factor that they did not expect from our protagonists. Narrative payoffs are the core of keeping your readers uh, wanting to go to the end of your story. Uh, now, just because you narrowed, you don't necessarily have to pay off your reader over one book. There are many conflicts that happen over the course of multiple books, and you can tease those in the middle of stories, but not necessarily have so much uh, build up over one book. In fact, you can sprinkle it over multiple books so that by the end of the series, you get the ultimate payoff rewarding readers who have been there since the beginning to have a huge reward at the end. So in conclusion, a narrative payoff is the reward that a reader gets for watching the characters uh, overcome trial and tribulation and then at the end of the story reach that reward. Hopefully that helps you. Uh, hopefully I've explained that well. I realize that uh, I'm very... <laughs> I'm much more eloquent in com on, in comments. So if you have any questions about any of the topics that I have, post them in the post them below and I will do my best to answer them. Uh thank you guys so much for supporting me in this journey. Thank you guys so much. Uh hopefully all of y'all can take care of yourselves. Hopefully everyone has a good November. Uh happy holidays for the upcoming Christmas uh Christmas month and uh, I'll see you guys later.
屁